We're here in northern Spain in Bilbao. This industrial port city has become increasingly popular with tourists as it's recently been revitalised. We arrived yesterday on our motorcycle and we're going to take a walking tour of the city and then later on this afternoon we'll be heading out into the Spanish mountains. We are starting our walking tour at Teatro Arriaga, built in 1889 in the Baroque style. And to this side of me is also the train station, which is probably where you're going to start your walking tour to. So let's walk over the bridge and see what's in the centre of Bilbao. We're walking along the Nervion River, which is the backbone of Bilbao, towards the town hall. This is a great stroll to really see the heart of Bilbao. We walked along the river for about another 100 metres. Just behind me there is the town hall built in 1892, bears a similar resemblance to the theatre, and that's because it has the same architect. You can do a little tour on the inside as it has luxurious rooms, which is well worth a visit. But make sure you book in advance as it can get very busy. We're gonna keep going down the river now towards the bridge in the distance. Something I am loving about Bilbao, What's the that? buses are called Bill buses, and the boats are called Bill boats. Bill boats. I feel like that's that's so cute. The originality at its best. <laughs> so we're walking across the Zubizuri Bridge, Zubizuri, oh, like uh, across to the other side of the river, and you can see that there's two kind of like architectural gates welcoming you into the city. That's some really cool apartments, aren't they? Yeah. yeah yeah, we're head taking the bridge over to the Guggenheim Museum, which is one of the most famous buildings in the Bilbao. I think everyone's familiar with it. We're now entering the Guggenheim complex. This is full of sculptures and art pieces as we walk through. I think the first thing we're going to see is a spider and then maybe a puppy. So let's go in and check it out. So I am stood underneath a giant spider, or the Maman, which is also called, at right outside the Guggenheim Museum, as you can see behind me. It's a little bit of a contrast when you arrive here and you see a giant spider. Definitely looks like something from Lord of the Rings, but we're going to walk through now and see some of the other sculptures. If you can bring yourself to look away from the incredible architecture behind you, honestly, there's so many layers to this building. It really is a highlight of Bilbao, but also this way you have the tallest building in the region. It's a 165 meter glass building. And now we're gonna walk through the park. Hang a left as you get past the museum and take the stairs all the way up to the next level. I think that's the entrance of the museum. And also the sweet smelling puppy, as it's known, <laughs> is stood outside. It says here it's a 43 foot flower covered West Highland Terrier by Jeff Coons guarding the Guggenheim since 1992. How cool is that? <laughs> Up there it is, I'm quite impressed with actually. Oh I love that, I love that so much. Oh wow, have you seen the architecture from this point? It's like every single angle from the Guggenheim, you're just blown away with like a different perspective of it. All right, this is a highlight for me. I flipping love this puppy. It's awesome and it actually smells incredible here from the flowers. We won't give you any spoilers as to what's inside the museum, but if there's any art lovers out there, you're absolutely going to adore this place. It houses a collection of artwork from international artists as well as Spanish artists, but it's the building itself that put Bilbao on the map. Bilbao is not the biggest of cities in the well, in the central anyway, so it's quite easy to navigate. We're just walking into the main city centre now. As you can see, the museum and the dog are behind us. Yeah, if you can pull yourself away from the Guggenheim Museum, head into the centre and uh, we're going to go and try and maybe grab some coffee in the centre of Bilbao. Hopefully. It's just after nine o'clock now and it seems the place is coming alive again. We're here in the central part of Bilbao. This is a roundabout which pretty much marks the centre of the city. Yeah, and surrounding the roundabout is all these really impressive buildings. You've got Hotel Carlton, which is kind of a unique architecture. And then this one on this corner, which is another completely different style. It's yeah, there seems to be a building from every era, era perched on the roundabout. But everything is about a two to three minute walk away from this point. Yeah, it's um, quite difficult to get lost because you can see down each street, you can see where each one is going. So we're just gonna go have a little wander around the new town and maybe see if we can grab a coffee or something to eat. Yeah, let's go. So we used Happy Cow again to find a breakfast place. We're at a place called Kombu. It's a vegan takeaway. Sean and I have just ordered a couple of breakfast sandwiches, which they're making fresh for us. But I'm gonna go and grab us coffee at another coffee shop that we spotted that looked really they good, did didn't look it? did look good, it smelled good too. All right, I'll see you in five minutes. See you later. <laughs> 
coffee mission was successful. I came to this place behind me called the Cocoon Cafe. It's got such a cool vibe in here. I can really recommend it, but I'm grabbing stuff to go. I grabbed some vegan cookies and two oat milk lattes, and then I'll meet Sean and we will take one last walk around Bilbao. Okay, just before we head off back onto the road, we just grabbed some sandwiches and some wraps and some coffees, and we spotted the best view in the town. Yeah, it looks great. And look at my sandwich. Look at this. So we're gonna have a little picnic and then head, I think we've got one or two more things to see, and then we can head back to the hotel. Yep, then we go via the old train station, and then we'll walk through another little old town, I think, which was quite cool on the way down. Mm. And then Did quickly pack up the bike, and then we'll be back on the road again. Just walking around Old Town Bilbao and it's a really quieter part of the city with a bit more of a relaxed atmosphere. Something you'll notice if you look up is you see the balconies and verandas have all been boxed in with wood panelling and pillars, really made the most of their space. Something quite unique about this city and I've not seen it in many other places. So be sure to look up when you're wandering around Old Town. And that's it, we are back at the train station with its absolutely stunning facade. I think it's Art Nouveau, maybe I'm wrong, but that's the end of our little walking tour of Bilbao. It is, uh, probably don't need so long here in Bilbao, okay. unless you want to really go into the museums and spend a lot of time there. So yeah, if you're getting off the, the ferry and arriving here in Bilbao, then definitely worth a little stop off here. Yeah, there's lots to see and lots to enjoy, yeah. especially the, uh, the museum. Exactly. We're gonna head back to the hotel, pack up the bike and continue our road trip through Spain. And we're gonna head in the direction of Portugal and take in some of the, the more like countryside roads. Yeah, Northern Spain mountainous regions. So we'll see you guys in the next video.